So it's like a mosquito coming in a puddle of dirty water. Mosquitoes come. If you got a clean water, mosquito cannot come. They, they have nothing to eat. Hello everyone, this is Dr. Kim, America's Holistic Foot Doctor. I've been a foot doctor for over 30 years now and I've seen thousands upon thousands of patients for their toenail fungus. So what I'm what you would call a fungus expert. Toenail fungus is a sensitive subject for many and is, it can be uncomfortable, embarrassing, and sometimes downright unpleasant to look at. In this four-part video series, I would like to share with you how to holistically cure toenail fungus. On the first video, which is going to be today's video, you're going to learn do you have toenail fungus? You're going to learn if you do have it. If you do have it, what kind of fungus you're going to get and who gets it and uh, what kind of environment fungus loves and everything about fungus today. So the second video will be about six home remedies. This is, these are the remedies that you want to try on your own, whether it's cleaning or drying and soaking and sunbathing, a lot of things you can do at home to try to eliminate toenail fungus. A third video is uh, four medical treatments. Now you tried already your home remedies and it has not really worked out very well for you, then you need to go visit your foot doctor. When you do, your foot doctor will give you your main four medical treatments such as grinding and debriding it down so that medication will be able to penetrate, topical medication or even oral medication. Sometimes we use laser to kill the fungus at the same time. And then the final video will be the most important one, the three internal remedies. Now a lot of people think fungus just lives outside, just not true. More of your fungus like to live inside. Due to your immune system problem, you cannot fight the fungus. Therefore, you need to improve your internal gut system to improve your toenail. And a lot of people has not improved your nail because you've tried a lot of home remedies. You even went to your foot doctor or other doctors to cure this problem. Still not uh, better is because you haven't addressed your most important internal issues. So let's get right into our first video. Do you have toenail fungus? Well, let's find out who gets it, how they come about, and then how we can combat it at the same time. So now, uh, first of all, fungi, or fungus we call it, has its own kingdom. Uh, plant has its own kingdom called kingdom of plants, and then animals have our, our kingdom called animal kingdom. But fungus, it doesn't belong to the animal, nor the plant. So it's somewhere in between, has the characteristics of both area, and we call it the kingdom of fungi. And there are many species of fungi out there, up to three million different species of fungi all over the world. However, it only affects about 20, 30 of them are affecting our toenail. So we're going to talk about that as well today. So first of all, we need to know some names of the fungus. We call them anicomycosis. What that means is anico means your nail, and mycosis means fungus. So that's the most common name that we use is anicomycosis. Another common medical terminology we use is tinea unguum. Tinea means fungus, unguum means your nail. So we can use that name as well. So what do they look like then? Well, as you can see here, they're all yellowish. This is a really uh, a sign that you may have fungus is this yellowish nail, very yellow, sometimes darker yellow, and very yellowish color. Next one is, it's very thickened. The reason it's thickened is because it loves the moisture. It sucks all the moisture out of the way, so it literally puffs up the nail and separate between different layers of the nail, make it very thickened. And then because of that, they crumble. They crumble, a lot of yellow powder comes out of this whole area, and that's what makes it very contagious because you can leave some of that all over the place, or, or airborne, you're gonna find that a little later on, so that it becomes very contagious. Also, sometimes it looks black, sometimes it looks uh, green. I've seen green ones that are uh, candida or yeast that are green ones as well. So many different colors, very ugly and thick and, and not looking very healthy, okay? And that's your nail and that's what they look like uh, on the fungus toenail. The fungus is everywhere, just like virus. As you can see, the whole family, okay? If one gets, uh, gets the fungus, then you can spread it to all the other part of the family, spouse and give it to your, you know, your husband give it to your you know, wife, wife give it to your kids, and especially if you're sharing your bathroom together, and then you can get all of this uh, all at the same time. So everybody can share all the fungus, very contagious. They're airborne too, just like virus, and you can literally float around the air and you can land wherever they like, and then that's where all the problems come. 
And so you have to be really careful uh, about the fungus because if you touch uh, some things or uh, if, if you uh, share the same uh, area uh, with, with your family members with the fungus, then you can easily uh, capture the fungus in your toenail. We're about halfway through my tips on how to know more about toenail fungus. If you enjoyed this video so far or learned something new, leave a Dr. Funga in the comments below and be sure to give this video a thumbs up. So now, what kind of environment does fungus love? There's an external environment and internal environment. Today we're going to talk about mostly internal environment, obviously internal uh, I mean, external environment. Internal uh, environment will be coming up on the fourth video, uh, which we're going to talk about how to handle that internal issue. So they love dark area. And if there's any sunlight there, fungus cannot live. They love dark and dirty. If it's anything clean, they don't, they don't live there. Okay? So it's like a mosquito coming in a puddle of dirty water. Mosquitoes come. If you've got a clean water, Mosquito cannot come. They, they have nothing to eat. So same thing with the fungus. They like dirty area with a lot of different things that they want to eat. And then the wet. They love moisture. Without water, you won't see fungus. So if you keep things dry, then fungus cannot come. So it's very important to know that it's very wet. And it's all warm. They like warm environment. They don't like it too cold. They don't like it too hot. They like it nice and cozy. And the perfect environment, as you can see here, will be your old athletic shoes. Why? You, it's dark in there, you, it's dirty, and then you, it sweat a lot in there, very wet, and then it's nice and cozy and warm. And they love your shoes. So this is very important for you to know that you have to avoid making your shoes looking like this because they love fungus. And it lives in there, it wants to stay in there, doesn't want to uh, go anywhere. And then obviously internal issue we're going to touch up on uh, slightly here is they love sweet stuff. They like sugar. And they also like processed food. All the junk food that we love, they love that as well. So you have to watch out for that. Uh, uh, these are kind of environment that your fungus really loves. Then who gets the fungus? The most um, people with the immunocompromised people, such as diabetics, obese patients, and elderly people, have immunocompromised conditions and, and cannot fight the fungus very well, so tend to get a lot of fungus. Especially the diabetics I see a lot. They have a lot of inflammation. They have a lot of sugar issue. <laughs> On top of that, their immune system is not very healthy, so they cannot fight up the fungus, so they get a lot of these problems. Next one is workers in boots. As you can see here, these are beautiful work boots. They're leather. It's got steel toe. However, it's not breathable. <laughs> So a lot of water gets trapped inside, and they can uh, eat all the uh, stuff inside the, uh, inside the shoes. So all the workers in boots really have to be careful because that's uh, where the fungus likes to live, in your boots. Athletes, obviously, you sweat a lot, uh, you're, you're, you're dirty, you're, you're, you're using it all the time, and you're constantly you know, you know, uh, kind of wearing your shoes out. So uh, that creates an environment for the fungus to grow at the same time. And traumatized nails are the ones that I see in my office a lot. Obviously, I see a lot of athletes, a lot of workers too. But the people uh, injure their toenail. They drop things on it, and they kick uh, their toe uh, against um, a furniture a lot in the middle of the night, going to the restroom. And a lot of different trauma and injuries can make the nail fall off or bleed underneath the nail. It goes black and blue. And then when that happens, all the dry blood, they love dry blood. The fungus uh, thrives on dry blood at the same time, so you have to be very careful when you're traumatized the nail, and then after you um, traumatize, you need to take care of your nail by soaking, which we'll talk about on the next video, so that uh, fungus will not be able to grow in the area. And then there are three main types of fungus, and they're the dermatophytes, neurodermatophytes, and then yeast or candida. Those are the main ones. The most important thing you have to know are the dermatophytes, obviously. The fungus, they have their own kingdom, but their uh, main function is actually to help you, actually. Fungus actually is good for us. They decompose all the things. Uh, under the trees of all this land, there's a fungus underneath to literally eat off all the, all the bad things and then decompose them and then send it back to recycle in the nature. So it's a very good thing to have fungus underneath all the ground. And also, like you know mushrooms, mushroom is part of the fungus family, is it's very healthy and it even uh, it, can, it can help cure cancer at the same time. So it's a very powerful way that can, uh, fungus can help us as well. 
However, the ones that we're talking about, these are the uh, pathogenic or paras parasitic ones that are attacking our nails and skin and eating away all of those things. And these are the different type of uh, fungi uh, that we're talking about today. The dermatophytes are the most common ones. About 95% of all the nail problems that we see are dermatophytes, and they like to eat the keratin layer of the nail and the skin, and then they eat up and make the nail all deformed and thicken and crumbly and makes it all possible, are the, are the dermatophytes. They're very strong, and they're very, very uh, contagious, and, and once it gets into your nail, it does not want to leave. Next one is the non-dermatophytes. That's not as common. They're usually on plants or soil. However, you can get them on your toenail at the same time. The yeast and candida ones are not common at all on your toenail. However, I've seen it in the past, the green color uh, fungus, and it can uh, be inside your body, in your lungs, in your stomach, in different areas of the body, and that's where they thrive um, uh, in your body. Be sure to like this video if you found it interesting or learned something new. If you think someone else will enjoy it, be sure to send it to them. Stay tuned for my second video in my toenail fungus series coming up next week about six powerful home remedies. Don't forget to follow me on my other social media channels, including Instagram and Facebook, to stay updated on everything happening on my channel. Until next time, be educated, get empowered, and encourage others today.